I would agree with you very much that uh, it's, it's important uh, that uh, uh, we put national interest first, uh, that uh, the politics of the day should not trump the, in a sense, the larger interests of the nation. And clearly, um, that's a, that's, you can say, is a, is a discipline or a, uh, or a approach that, you know, all politicians should have in the country. Now, it's obviously easy to say. Uh, it doesn't always get done. And, you know, I, I, in my own remarks, I cited two examples. I mean, if you, if you look uh, at the whole Article 370 issue, I mean, uh, let's be honest, other than the politics of the day, what was the reason for a temporary provision to continue so long? It was really the politics of the day. And the fact that we had such a uh, sort of uh, messy issue there, I mean, the entire world used it for the last 75 years. So, uh, and the other is really securing our borders, you know, that, uh, the, that the politics of the day should not lead our borders to be vulnerable. Uh, so, uh, I mean, I could come up with other examples. Uh, so, I, I agree with you. Uh, I think to some extent we have to create a culture. To some extent public opinion has to also, you know, the force of public opinion is a very powerful force, you know. Uh, politics responds to, to what is, politics may shape public mood, but believe me, public mood also shapes politics. I mean, uh, as again, as, as a relatively uh, new entrant into this, I can tell you, when I look at people, you know, in my peer group and see how, how you know, how the sort of, the sense of the public resonates with them, it is, it is something which matters. On the issue, look, you know, uh, you, you spoke about uh, strong uh, opposition. It's not the job of the government to create an opposition, okay? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's great to see you here. Thank you for watching our work. If you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to click the bell icon and subscribe to Mojo Story and support independent, robust journalism.